Hi, so now let's talk about three very important concepts for Apache NiFi. And I promise, after we see these concepts, they're quite simple. We'll move on to the hands-on apps. So the first concept is a flow file. It's basically the data. It's comprised of two elements, the content, which is the data itself, and attributes. Those are basically key value pairs associated with the data. An example of this would be creation date, but we'll see there are many others. That's basically any metadata you want. And flow files, they get persisted to disk right after the creation. So every time you get a flow file, it's not gonna stay in memory for Apache NiFi, it's gonna go straight to disk. It's gonna be persisted. The second concept is a processor. Basically, processors are used to apply a set of transformation and rules to flow files that we just saw before, and they generate new flow files. So any processor can process any flow files. We need to make sure that the flow file, you know, is intended to be used by that processor, but any flow file in your system can be processed by any processor. So the cool thing about it is that you don't need to worry about processor constraints and so on, you can just connect all of them together. Then processors, they pass around flow file references to each other, and that's how you advance the data processing. And finally, they're all running in parallel. So there's no, there's sequential in the way they process flow files, but they all run at the same time, which is great because they work together. So if you look at the bottom, for example, you have data coming in the left, could be data from anywhere, let's say a CSV file. The first processor is parsing that file and creates a new flow file. And the second processor, that's something with that first flow file, creates a second flow file. And so on, up until it goes towards the last processor. You can see in the bottom, it starts looking like a graph from left to right. That's the main concept about Apache NiFi. The last concept is a connector. So we have pr two processors in this example. And a connector is basically a queue of all the flow files that are yet to be processed by the next processor. So in that example, there's flow file 1, 2, and flow file number n that are waiting to be processed by processor 2. The really nice thing about connectors is that you can define rules about how flow files are going to be prioritized. Basically, which ones are out first and which ones may not go out ever. For example, you can say first in, first out, FIFO. Or you can say last in, first out. You can also define back pressure to avoid overflow in your system, saying, okay, in my queue, I can only have 10,000 flow files. If you have more than 10,000 flow files, stop creating, stop creating them, and processor one will just stop up until processor two catches up with the flow and the queues empties up a little bit. So with these three concepts, you can basically build any graph you want. In that example, it looks fancy. You have data going in, goes through a processor, then connected to another processor. The second one actually forks the data to two other processors, and so on and so on. And your data just goes and flows along your system. That's Apache NiFi. If you got that, the rest is going to be just fine.